Hello, I wanted to show you a quick and simple trick for fixing your widows and orphans in your text. Let's get started. Widows and orphans are the little extra words that you may find at the bottom of a paragraph, taking up just a whole line of text for one word. You want to avoid doing too much on the fly fixing, like one paragraph changing, for example, the kerning just a little bit. That does fix the spacing, but uh, it also can cause some readability issues if you tighten up that kerning too much. Here's a quick way to use grep styles to reduce the frequency of widows and orphans in your text. This can be useful when you're writing a long piece uh, or laying out a long piece uh, like an article or a magazine, book, whatever. It can also be useful on smaller scales whenever you're doing, say, a paragraph of flavor text on a card. Uh, first off, I've got everything set up right now to be my uh, usual body serif uh, paragraph style, and I'm going to just make a new paragraph style that uh, is based on uh, the body serif, but I'm just going to call it body serif. No widows, no orphans. I'm just setting it up to be based on body serif, and the only other change I'm going to make uh, is adding a new grep style that is based on a character style called no break. I'll show you what no break does in a sec here, but uh, the main thing that I'm going to do is add this expression. That is dot open curly bracket 10 close curly bracket dollar sign. And I'm going to OK that. And before I actually apply this paragraph style, I'll show you what the character style is doing. That no break character style, the only attribute it has is that no break here under the basic character formats has been checked. When I add that uh, grep string, uh, what it's saying is that the last 10 characters in any paragraph will have the no break character style applied to them. InDesign will not break those words. So let's see what happens when I select just this one column and apply the new paragraph style. You can see that these two paragraphs have been updated so that they uh, don't break the last two words here, or in this case, the last three words. Um, and all the paragraphs have been rebalanced accordingly. But in this paragraph, this one word was so long that it was within the 10 character limit. How can I fix this? I'm just going to go back to the grep string that I have here and increase it from 10 characters to 20 characters. And let's see what happens. And you can see that uh, now three words have been brought in on this paragraph and the next three words have been brought in on this paragraph. That may be a little bit too much. As you can see, InDesign has rebalanced this, uh, these paragraph lines a little bit. And it's created this uh, rather wide margin uh, to the right of this paragraph, which may be more distracting than just having a widow or an orphan. I'm going to split the difference a little bit, and let's just call it 15. That seems about right. Let's see what, it, what happens when I apply the new paragraph style to this column as well. Hey, that looks pretty good. So you can see that in most cases, it brings in the second to last word down to the bottom line, and then all, this, all the previous lines of text get rebalanced to make that paragraph look as smooth as possible. Now say you don't want a paragraph style that rules them all like this. You can set up a paragraph style, uh, but instead just call it 10 character. And I'm just, that's just what I'm calling it. So that I remember that this paragraph style is set so that only 10 characters are going to be non-breaking. Uh, so I'm going to just make a new paragraph style that's based on this previous one. And I'm going to call it body serif 15 character. And I'm changing the grep string to be 15 instead of 10. And now I have two paragraph styles available to me to toggle between. So if I want this one in particular to be uh, non-breaking at 15 characters, then I can just click that and click that. I want to thank Brennan Reese for posting this on his blog. This is where I found it. Uh, there, there you'll also find a more advanced string there that uh, has some additional uh, cool stuff going on there. But I like this one just because it is so simple and it's relatively easy to adjust. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support the rest of this series on Patreon.